happy Sunday. So today is June 19th, 2022. It's Father's Day. So to those of you, my brothers out there that have children, happy, happy Father's Day. I wanted to do a devotional to exhort our hearts and it is on loving God, God our Heavenly Father. Amen. Many of us um, have lost our earthly father. I lost my daddy since like 1977. So God is truly the only father that I've really had uh, besides Papa Dittmer, my foster father, my foster dad that helped raise me when I was 15 to 18. So anyways, you know, the Bible says a lot about um, loving God and Jesus says, you know, those who love me will obey me. Those who keep my commandments, my words, are those who love me. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. So I want to do um, a devotional to encourage us, the body of Christ, um, to love God, our Heavenly Father, our Creator, our Redeemer, our Protector, our Provider, the Lover of our heart and soul. He is everything. He is the air that we breathe. He is the maker of our being. Amen. Hallelujah. Through Christ, he has adopted us and made us who were all orphans, whether we had daddies, mommies or not. Without Christ, we are all orphans. Amen. So when we who put our hope and trust in Christ repented of our sins and received the gift of the Holy Ghost through repentance and faith in Christ, the work that Jesus has done on Calvary by dying for us and taking our place and forgiving us of our sins and giving us his Holy Spirit, amen, Acts 2.38, he also made us heir of God and co-heirs of Christ. So he is worthy, he's worthy, our Father is worthy to be worshipped, to be praised, to be honored, to be glorified today and every day in every areas of our lives. Amen. So I just wanted to get on here and encourage you guys before um, I go to church today. It's called loving God. Lord, you have promised that those who seek you shall find you. Thank you for never breaking that promise and for showing that you are a loving God. You are the perfect example of love, and I hope to always show that to others. Amen. We all fall short. We all have good intentions and want to do this, but even as born again, Holy Ghost filled, we still fall short. Amen. Hallelujah. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Deuteronomy 7 and 9. God's covenant is with those who love him, those who keep his words, his commandment, his covenant. Amen. Those are whom the promises of God are made for, for a thousand generations. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. Proverbs 8, 17. This is, like, this is why when we first get up, the first thing on our mind, the first person, the first being on our mind, our heart should be the lover of our heart and soul, the creator, the redeemer of our being, Jesus Christ, our heavenly father. Amen. Hallelujah. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. John 14, 21, one of my favorite verses. If we love God, God, if we love Jesus and we have his words in our hearts and we live and keep his words, Jesus will manifest himself to us. Amen. And we will also be loved by the Father. Hallelujah. That I may cause those that love me to inherit substance. And I will fill their treasures. 
Proverbs 8, 21. Hallelujah. He is our inheritance. Glory to God. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Psalm 17, 4. This is one of the most beautiful, important lessons that Jesus has been teaching me and still is trying to teach me. Um, and we'll be learning this lesson until he comes to perfect us and take us home. Amen. So um, one of the great promises, there's been many promises that God has manifested and has given me and many more to come. Um, but one of them is me living on the beach right now. That is the desires of my heart. And he has given me a beautiful place right on the ocean because that is what I desire. And he taught me, began to teach me all of my life, but especially in 2017 when he told me, you just put me first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Everything that I need and even the desires of my heart shall be added unto me if I would just put him first, be about his business, loving God with all of my heart, mind, body, strength, and soul, and loving others as I love myself. Amen. So when we put the kingdom of God first, be about his business, sharing his love, his good news. Amen. Meeting the needs of those that um, we can help when the Holy Ghost move upon our heart and bring them to us. When we're about his business, he will be about ours. Hallelujah. Come quickly there, my Lord, and take possession of thine own, my longing heart. What does that say? Couch safe? To make thine everlasting home. What is that letter? Hmm. Ah, can't see that. Assert thine claim, receive thy right. Come quickly from above and sink me to perfection's height, the depth of humble love. What shall I do, my God, to love? By Charles Wesley. A little bit complicated English for me. <laughs> because he had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Psalm 91, 14. When we take the time to study God, to learn about God, learn of his attributes, his name, his essence, his nature, who he is through studying his words, through spending private, intimate time with him, our prayer life, amen, and worship, worshiping him in spirit and in truth, then God sets us on high. He exalts the humble, amen, and casts down the proud. Glory to God. But as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2, 9. Them that love him, them that keep his words, keep his covenant, do his will. Amen. Those who do the will of the Father abide forever. The promises of God, all the wonderful, beautiful things that includes heaven, mansions, eternal life. Those are for God's faithful servants, those who love him. Amen. No eye has seen, ear has heard <clears throat> that God has prepared for them that love him. He's revealed in dreams to me a glimpse of the paradise of God and man. It is beyond majestic, so beautiful. And people have a hard time believing this, but there's actually mega <laughs> fun parks in heaven with huge, massive white roller coasters weaving through the galaxies, the stars. 
in heaven that God has created for us, for those who love him. You can laugh, you can mock, but if I were you, I wouldn't do that. I would humble myself and believe with childlike faith and ask the Holy Spirit to show you and reveal to you those things that God has in store for us. Amen. But we have to have childlike faith to enter the kingdom of God, just like what Jesus said. Amen. And he showed me mansions. I take that back. He showed me my oceanfront mansion that Jesus built for me. I didn't, I didn't see other people's mansions. He only showed me mine. And it was um, on high on a mountain and overlooking a vast, mighty, glistening ocean. It was huge. It was beautiful, majestic, double staircases that meets in the middle like a catwalk, but was super fancy like royalty. It was majestic. And Jesus showed me that um, in, was it May? May or June 2016 in a dream. It was a vivid dream. It was awesome. Yes, Jesus manifests himself to us in dreams and visions and his words and any other ways he chooses to. Hallelujah. His sheep hears his voice because they follow him. So when we're walking in communion and intimacy and fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth and wisdom and revelation who shows us all things to come. Amen. He's our teacher, our guide. He will reveal those secrets, those covenants that he's made with us, for us. Psalm 25 verse 14 says so. Those who fear the Lord, um, God reveals, God confides his covenant with those who fear him. Psalm 25 verse 14, I believe that's where it is. The Lord preserveth all of them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. Psalm 145, 20. The wicked are those who do not know God, who will not draw close to God, who does not take God's word seriously, who cast God's words behind them, and they go off and do their own thing. The wicked is what God describes the proud. The proud does not seek God. There is no God in their thoughts, in their hearts, because they're proud and arrogant, and they are their own gods, little g. So those are who God calls the wicked. They will not seek him. They will not repent. They are their own little gods. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Ephesians six twenty four. O oh, Jesus, light and boundless grace. How blessed was I to see his face. His life he did not spare. This sinner he in love did seek. Thank you, Lord. Enabling me his word to speak. I walk as child and heir. Hallelujah. The God of holiness and love. By Daniel Burgess or Boris. I cannot see that clearly. But grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Grace be to you if you love the Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, with all of your heart, mind, body, strength, and soul, the first commandment, and love others as you love yourself. God's grace will always be overflowing upon your life and your loved ones. Amen. So happy Father's Day. Make sure you give him praise, our Heavenly Father, first and foremost. He is the author of our breath and being. Amen, our Redeemer. I love you guys. Have a blessed Father's Day with your loved ones.